guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a everyday makeup tutorial for y'all. Um, I know this might be a little bit glam for every day for some of you guys, but I just like to be, you know, sparkly every single day. Um, honestly, sometimes I don't do my makeup at all, but if I do my makeup, it generally looks like this. Otherwise it's mascara and nothing else. So this is what I do pretty much every day. Um, if I'm going to something like really cool, then I'll probably do something a little different, but this is basically what I do every single morning. So I hope you guys really enjoy this. Um, and I hope you guys are enjoying my giveaway. I'm really excited to see who wins that and let me know if there's anything else you guys want to see. Also, I'm going to be doing a video soon about eyeliner because I struggled with eyeliner for ever up until like a few months ago. And I'm going to show you guys some tips and like tricks that I used to do winged eyeliner before I figured out how to do it without those. So if you're not quite at the level where you can do winged liner without some kind of help, this is the help that you need. So I'm going to make a video about that and I'm really excited for you guys to see this. So I hope you enjoy. Please don't forget to like and comment and subscribe and let me know if there's anything at all you want to see. But Merry Christmas! So first I'm just going to find my concealer and conceal underneath my eyes and then in some different areas around my face. I use the Tarte Shape Tape in the lightest color because I'm already pretty pale. So in order to highlight under my eyes, I have to use basically extremely white concealer. But I'm just doing that and then I'm blending it out with my Dior like foundation brush. I use it for both my foundation and my concealer. So once I have that all blended in and smoothed out, I get my Too Faced foundation and I pump that onto my hand and then put it on with that same foundation brush. It is the Born This Way foundation and I'm pretty sure I'm in the lightest color in that one too. So I just spread that all around. I know I look really, really pale, but believe me, when I put on my powder, I won't look quite so ghostly. Um, and I make sure to blend this down my neck so that I am matching and there's not a line on my chin where my makeup doesn't match my neck. <laughs> Then I'm going to get my MAC Studio Fix, I guess it's foundation, but it's powder, and I put that on top of my foundation, and this is what kind of, I mean it doesn't darken my face much, but a little bit, because it's a little bit of a darker shade, so this kind of brings some life back into my face after I just made myself extremely white. So I put that all over my face, and this also sets the foundation so that it doesn't slide off. And again with this, I also bring it down my neck so that the colors blend really well. So once I'm finished with that, I'm going to be taking my NARS bronzer and doing some contouring. I'm not really great at contouring and I don't really care about it that much, so I kind of just put this all over my face. You'll see when I blend it in, it just kind of gets everywhere. Um, it's basically just to add some color and add a little bit of dimension to my cheekbones, but I am not great at it, so I don't really spend too much time doing this, as you can probably tell, but I just make sure that it's all blended into my hairline so that you can't see, again, like a line where my makeup ends and my scalp begins.
I also like to put this underneath my jawline because it makes my face look skinnier and on my nose to make my nose look thinner. Everyone wants a skinny nose. And then I just blend this in with my MAC brush to make sure that there's not any muddiness or too dark spots. I'm definitely a blush girl, so I'm taking my MAC blush and I put this on pretty heavily. Um, on my cheeks and then I spread it around too to kind of add a little more color and make everything look really smooth and seamless. And then again, I just get my MAC brush and blend this all together so there are no obvious lines. After that, I'm going to be taking my Marc Jacobs palette that I've had forever. Obviously, I mean, it's destroyed. But I take the darkest color to fill in my eyebrows. And I don't really do much to my eyebrows because I like mine to look extremely natural but just to not look so sparse in certain areas. So I just kind of fill them in a little bit and make them a little fuller, but their natural shape and shade. So once I'm finished with my face and my eyebrows, I move on to my eyes and I'm going to start this process with the MAC Painterly Paint Pot, which like everyone and their brother uses, but it's literally amazing. So I put this all over my eye lid and all the way up to my brow bone. And I also put it down below because I tend to put some eyeshadow down the bottom to use as eyeliner. So it works really well to keep that in place also. Once I'm finished with that, I go back to my Marc Jacobs palette and I use this like light brown color and I put this in my crease just to add a little bit of dimension. I'm not really into any dark colors on my eyes, so I just use this really light shade and it looks really pretty and just adds a little bit of dimension, but it doesn't make you look like you have on like some kind of dark smoky eye. And I'm just blending this in with my, I think this is an IT Cosmetics brush, and I blend this for like five hours because otherwise there'll be a line and that drives me crazy. So I make sure that this is really blended into my crease and then even after that I usually continue to blend it some more. For on my eyelid, I've been using the Heavy Metals by Urban Decay liquid liner all over my lid. This has really just been kind of what I'm doing this season because it is Christmas and so I like a little bit of glitter, but I usually use a more subtle shimmer eyeshadow on my lid during the rest of the year. It's also in the Marc Jacobs palette, but this one just seemed really festive, so I used this for the last few months on my eyelids. After I apply that, I take my Stila eyeliner in the black color and I'm going to be lining my eyes. Like I said in the intro, this was not always something I was great at, so just give me some grace here because it's kind of 
horrible to watch, but I've gotten much better at this than I was a while ago, and again, I'm going to film a video on how to do winged eyeliner if you are absolutely terrible at doing any kind of eyeliner. I do a very thin line all the way across my eye just because I'm not really into dark makeup again so I make sure that it's pretty subtle and it's as close as possible to my lash line so that it kind of blends in. And then the wing that I do is extremely small just to add a little bit of definition to the outside of my eyes and make my eyes pop and look a little bit bigger. Once I'm finished lining my eyes, I just take the same color from my eyebrows and I put it below, basically on my waterline and a little bit below my lash line just to, again, brighten up my eyes. I only take it about halfway in because I find if you take it all the way in, it closes your eyes off and dark colors in your waterline tend to make your eyes look smaller. So I make sure to try and keep it only halfway. I just smudge this out a little bit with my finger so that it's not such a harsh line. And then finally I use this white Stila eyeliner on my waterline to make my eyes look a lot bigger and I find that this is a really good trick if you're tired or if you've had a really long day to make your eyes pop even though you may not really be feeling all that energetic or awake. After that I just curl my lashes and then apply mascara. I use this drugstore mascara, not really sure what brand it is, but it's white on one side and red on the other, and the white part is like an eyelash extension, kind of. It has like fibers in it, and it makes your eyelashes look way longer and fuller, and then you just apply the other side, which is a black mascara on top of that. Finally, I move on to my lips and I'm just using this MAC lipstick and I'm not sure what shade it is but I will put it down below and I don't really like lipstick all that much so I just blot it onto my lips to get the color but I don't like the harshness that it gives when you apply it like straight on so I just do it in little dabs across my lips to give that color and to make my lips look a little bit darker. So that is my final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Again, this is pretty much what I do on a daily basis this season, and a variation of this is what I do all year round. So I hope you guys really enjoyed it. It's very subtle and very glittery and very girly. So if you enjoyed this, please leave a comment and a like and subscribe. Thank you so much. Merry Christmas.